Hey guys, how's it going? It's FloodMod14 here. And I'm here with actually a very special episode of Let's Just Chill. <laughs> like, that's what this is going to be, man. This is just a video diary, but, um, like, uh, yeah, so basically, man, I'm just sitting here on campus and stuff and, um, uh, just chilling out, man. It's actually been midterms week all week, which, yeah, uh, sorry guys if it's been like, Mm, you know, kind of mm, on the uh, uploading. Uh, I, you know, uh, yeah, like you know, I'm not actually working right now, but I had to take a really quick, like, uh, four or five days uh, hiatus just because, like, yo, dog, it is midterms up in here, and yo, dog, that was the worst thing I ever heard, dog. Dog, you wasn't my dog. If I was a dog, that would. If I could compare your singing to something a dog would do, it would be crap on the front lawn, dog. Like, get that out of here, dog. Next. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, like, this has been, like, a very, you know, troubling, uh, depressing sort of week. Uh, challenging, you know, because, basically, because I do all these YouTube videos and stuff. Um, long story short, my, um, studying has been behind a bit more than it usually is. But at the same time, I'm glad that I have put out the effort and energy and, uh, and, uh, I just realized who somebody is. I just realized who they really are. Wow. <laughs> are you kidding me? Wow. Um, great. It's a crazy finish, but, uh, yeah, anyway, um... How is that possible? I just now realize. Anyway, yeah, like my mind has been fried, guys and girls, all week. Um, but I wanted to thank some of the recent subscribers and comments. Uh, like one was a even like it was just sort of a question about uh, Nightmare Troubadour and like how the shadow games work. And as you can see, it's actually kind of nighttime here, and like I can almost hear in my head like the Chucky sound, like. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Yugi. I'd like to play a game. The rules are very simple. <laughs> you have 10 seconds to go pie. Now, that wasn't a very good saw impersonation. Let me try again. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I just woke up, so I got to deepen my voice a bit. <clears throat> you know what? Let's make this personal. Let's make this personal. Make it personal and believable. Okay, so let's pretend we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. It's time to do-do-do-do-do. Okay, and let's do the saw voice. Let's do it. <clears throat> Hello, Floodbot14. I'd like to play a game. For years, you have been a selfish, arrogant asshole who only looks out for himself and number one's no one else. You like music, you like anime, and you like playing games and making a, your YouTube channel. But let me tell you your greatest weakness, your refusal to rely on others' help. Therefore, for this game, you will have to face your greatest fear and ask a girl out. <laughs> I challenge you to go to the food court today at 12 p.m. and ask out the hottest girl there. If you do not, you will wake up in a cold, vegetative state, you maggot, and you will run out of time. You have from the time the sun is up, a.k.a. 7.30 this morning, until... <laughs> this is so stupid, dude. Until noon to find a date. Live or die. Make your choice. You are lucky, Flood Mod 14. This is the first jigsaw challenge that has been issued where the victim or the test subject is given free reign. Therefore, you can go anywhere in this town, anywhere in this world to find your date. If you, you must call in a lifeline from Facebook, you should probably do so. Live or die. Make your choice. Use Facebook. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, that was just so freaking random, but that's like, yeah, that's sort of, I don't know, I guess it's sort of creative intellect or, I don't know, guys, I think, I think we all wear creativity, metaphorically speaking, but yeah, man, we're just chilling, guys, like, honestly, this is the university I go to, and we're sitting, actually, and we are here, this is JC with the Night Duel, and we are here to play smooth jazz and solo quartets. And enjoy the rhythm of the songs. 
No, but I actually like doing this. Like, you see how I'm just sitting still and, like, filming and watching the cars go by? Uh, this is actually a morning routine of mine. Um, usually I'll do it closer to home. You know what I mean? Like, this is the first time. Oh, and I think I see a police car coming our way. Wait, hang on, hang on. No, 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 it's nothing. Okay. But I think I will move from this spot. Because since the universities have gotten, you know, a lot tighter with their, um, with their, oh, it's going to be hard to stand up. Hang on, guys. Uh, give me about 14 seconds. Oh, God. <laughs> Whew. I'm glad I decided to move right now because my leg's actually starting to, you know, fall asleep and that sort of thing. But, yeah, I normally do that by my house. And, you know, doing it there is harmless, you know, because everyone in the neighborhood knows I just kind of sit on the porch. Or sometimes I'll pull the chair up in the yard and just, you know, real close to the street <laughs> and just watch the cars drive by. It's 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 just a small hobby of mine, man. But, um, yeah, long story short, I better move because, like, the universities have become... And we can include this as sort of a vlog video for part, uh, part two of why I don't... This is going to be called part two. How... What absence of faith, uh-oh, allowed these uh, mass sh shootings to even occur? Like, that's going to be the question. What absence of, and I don't mean just, you know, God, Christianity. I mean, like, generally, you know, I don't judge people's faith. You know what I mean? Like, whatever it is, it is. And, you know, but generally, yeah, if you're, you know, in any sort of... um like faith based uh you know ideology or religion or whatever like generally you won't be uh you won't be okay with like people ending up in a body bag you know what i mean so what i mean by this idea is like that's sort of my philosophy is the only way like these like i don't like making them famous i don't like that they're on the news cycle for you know, 72 hours, but the only way these guys are allowed to exist is because people fall out of their faith, and now, like I said, it, that applies to all faiths, really, because if you're a Buddhist, I don't think you're allowed to kill people, like, just for, you know, for giggles, like, you're, no, you're not supposed to do that, so, I don't know, man, like, like, another issue for these, like, losers as i'll call them now these bone kotsus <laughs> how you like that these uh diablosus man like like that's the other thing with them man is like they have no soul let's just say it. let's just come out and tell the truth about these guys or girls uh oh yeah i went there i went there um question to the audience can a girl become a mass shooter and cap 200 people in a single day yes yes she can um so far no girl has done it thank god um that well maybe a girl has done it and it just hasn't become famous or i'm gonna have to research that hmm anyway um hmm man that's that's good that's a good thing for me to research today um but it's non-relevant to the point it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl or a tomato or a vegetable or an alien or a Sith Lord or a Julalite or a, or a Negro or if you're mixed. Like, look at my skin. Like, this is my skin, guys. Like, I know it's dark, but look at that. Look at that skin. Like, what, you, what even is that? What is that? Like, I don't... People ask me, like, all the time, hey, Joshua, what race are you? Like, look at that. You tell me. I don't... It does... Does it matter? No. Like, but anyway... The point is, is like, whatever faith you're in, if it's Christianity, if you're, if you're Jewish, like, I'm pretty sure most of them, you aren't supposed to kill people. That, I mean, don't kill, don't kill. Killing's bad. Killing, morality, if you're, if you even have an ounce of morality, you won't want to take someone else's life. So, <sighs> hmm. Again, I go to this. How are these people allowed to exist? Well, the answer is actually going to be something very surprising, and it is called parenting. 
Uh, this is actually a very, 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 very touchy subject. Um, now, I'm not going to judge anyone's parenting because I understand that you have to believe me when I say I understand the challenges of parenting better than anyone. Um, I had four older sisters growing up and I didn't have any kids of my own, but I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to help take care of all of their needs. Now, that's a good thing. Um, definitely helped me learn some patience and some other things, some other values. But my point is, is that of those four sisters, one took to parenting really easily. You know, when she, you know, started getting married and yada, 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 boy meets girl, blah, blah, blah. Step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You have kids by step fourteen. <laughs> We're going to break down the 14 steps of how that happens. That's going to be the next... Uh, that'll be, probably be vlog video number 14. Is the 14 steps to go from being single, a.k.a. or being alone. Oh yeah, this is a good title. 14 steps to go from being alone to having one child. But anyway. Um, long story short, I've seen different ways of parenting like lots of different ways um i've even seen a case in which a mother didn't have her child held in her arms uh, this was a very sad situation um i was very sad about this situation but at the same time we were powerless against this situation uh, again, I'm not going to say exactly who it is and drama, yada, yada, yada. But my big point here is there are good and bad ways of parenting. There's just, it, it just is. It's like, it's just like, it's just like sports. There are good football teams that, you know, tend to make it to the playoffs nine years out of ten, a.k.a. the Patriots. And there are bad football teams that can sometimes surprise you, like the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hadn't made the playoffs in quite a while. And then there are steady teams in football. Let's not forget about that. There are teams like the Cowboys who, eh, yeah, they may not have made the playoffs, but, hey, they didn't lose, like, ten games, you know, necessarily. You know what I mean? Like, they were decent. And the reasoning for their record, you know, injuries and, uh, and those sort of uh, non-connotative variables happen in football, too, where just like, I mean, imagine if Tom Brady was injured at the start of every season of the Patriots. In fact, imagine this. Imagine Tom Brady came down with this sickness called November phobia. And every November, he got the flu. And kept having the flu all the way until January. <laughs> like, the Patriots wouldn't be a very good playoff team. Of course, I just made that up off the top of my head. But anyway... My point with that is, um, success, uh, yeah, like, yeah, there are successful ways of parenting, and there are non-successful ways of parenting, um, but basically my point is these mass shooters that we see, you know, these, these losers, these bunkotsus, these jigachachas, these asholiris, these hephaestuses, these, uh, coestasas, these zakos, that's what I like to call them, zako, chikan. You know, like, hey man, like, these fools, that's what I'm going to call them, fool, y'all fool, these fools, thank you, Killer B, these fool, hey fool, y'all fool, if you're thinking about attacking a school, maybe you ought to look in the mirror, fool, y'all fool, because that's a stupid idea, don't do it, 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 if you're thinking about doing it, that's what I want you to tell yourself, I want you to tell yourself, I want you to write on a piece of paper, I will not shoot up a school a hundred times. Guarantee you, you won't do it. That's the solution. You see how, the, how very practical that solution was? People need to learn to discipline themselves. And I don't mean just kids either, like little kids. I mean adults. Adults have so much corrosive... Adults think they know everything. I know because I'm an adult. 
and I think I know everything, and I think I'm, you know, superior in a lot of ways to other people. But the truth is, I'm just as clumsy, stupid, ignorant, selfish, lonely, happy, sad, uh, laughful, joyful, uh, hilarious, uh, loving, uh, loving, loving, uh, caring, compassionate, considerate, uh, empathetic, sympathetic as any of you. In other words, my point is, like, no one out here is better than anyone else. We're all pretty much, like, dirt. Dirt topped with ash, topped with spiritual nature. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Like, why are we out here killing each other? That's my main question. And this applies not just to the recent trend of mass shooters, but, like, why, why do wars exist? Why? Why? Well, I know why they exist, but... <laughs> like seriously like why is America as a nation allowing this could tr you know the president you know basically just deploy the National Guard for a while now I'm not saying permanently but could he uh, deploy it for a while in like some major cities and you know just try it hey now I'm not saying we keep that to where we have like militias at schools but hey why don't we just it never hurts to try, you know, a solution to a problem. Eh, you know, like, it's just like applying for a job. It eh, doesn't hurt to fill out that application for, you know, Starbucks. Eh, maybe you'll get the job, maybe you won't. But my point is... We could have curtailed this issue by now. What do I mean by that? I mean, like, when the very first, you know, mass school, you know, like Columbine started, we c if we had deployed, basically, militias, local military to stand guard at schools then you know I think the first one was what Columbine I don't really remember what exact name was the first one but my point is if we had deployed immediately and created a training squad uh oh a training squad all the way back then and the training squad's sole purpose was protect the little five and six year olds at elementary school at Spradling Elementary today Think about that, man. Like, seriously, think about that. Think about how different things might be today. Just, just look up and think about that, man. We got a, we got a flock of crows and and uh, geodas flying out. But uh, they sense that uh, there's about to be a thunderstorm here. A flood. The flood has arrived. Hey. Sorry, that's a Halo reference. But anyway, guys, like seriously, like I don't know, man. Am I nuts? I don't, I don't, I don't really think so. Now, you could argue, oh, the military is corrupt, this is corrupt, yada, yada, yada. Perhaps some sort of form of corruption would have occurred where somebody, you know, in, the, in a select militia, let's say Saskatchewan, uh, Ontario, let's say Shirabriza, Wyoming. I just made up a city that doesn't exist. Let's say, like, yeah... So by that by this time we had that and this is all you know conjecture it's not real um it's not, not nothing of what i'm saying is real it's just for an example like let's say that pretend city had you know a a guy in a militia go rogue you know because oh the military is corrupt america's corrupt you know the the system's corrupt and we can't put militias in schools because the system will always fail i, I don't really believe that man I think if we had attempted that, eh, hey, maybe we would have called it off after six months. Who knows? Maybe maybe that we would have done that just for a momentary, like, you know, moment of standing arms. Moments like that are pretty great in American history, traditionally. And I think that would have been a great moment to do it. Um, I think even today, if a moment like that was given by the current president or 
any other president listening to this video 10 years in the future. Yeah, if we just put, yeah, let's, let's put standing militias at, you know, some of the major schools and, uh, yeah, let's do it for a substantive amount of time. Let's say a year. You know, I think it'd be a good thing. But anyway, guys, my battery's at 10%. So this is going to be the end of this video. And I know I didn't wrap up a lot of things, but my long story short here is <coughs> two big things, again, as far as this vlog goes. And again, this is just a vlog. It's just my opinion. I mean, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's. I'm not going to take any action. I love Jesus. I don't kill people. It's that simple. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me and for everyone in the world. It's that simple. That's what I believe. But anyways, I got to see you guys later. Bye. Um, but yeah, the big two points in general is just morality, applicability, practicality, love. If we all just loved, loved, loved each other more, these kinds of behaviors wouldn't be allowed to be induced. Uh, I hope some of you enjoyed what I had to say, but I had to go. Bye, guys. This is DC signing out. Ludmon 40. Simply Lud. Lucky here. Hey, everybody. It's Chaga Flood Roy. Bye. <laughs>